What are you guys doing? What are you doing, Huck? Help him on. Help him on. Putting us together a cot. Testing it out. Yeah. Wish me luck. Bye. Say good luck. Shoot good a big luck. one. Shoot a big one. Shoot a big one. <laughs> So it is Monday evening. We just got back from Michigan last night, had a blast out there in Michigan uh, with, with that whole crew. And I'm going tonight to one of my private spots that's pretty close to my house uh, because we have the, the show tonight um, with me, Dan, and Eric gonna get on and talk about our Michigan hunt. So I gotta get home quick for that. So just gonna go buzz to a spot uh, tonight close to the house. This spot has like multiple bucks that I would be happy to shoot, uh, especially with the longbow. I'm bringing the longbow tonight. Uh, it's like kind of a little overlooked spot in the middle of a cornfield. There's like a low area with the tree line and some tall horse wheat grass that they like to bed in. Um, I've had all kinds of deer. Uh, I've seen all kinds of deer out in that, that little patch. And tonight I think I have a good chance of, of getting on one. So. Let's go ahead and, and buzz up there and get set up tonight. Just gonna show you what I got here. You can see this little strip of trees that's out in the, the field there. And actually this bean field you see right here is a different property. And, and the corn here is a property I can hunt. Um, and also the tree line and behind the tree line. So um, I'm gonna kind of hop into the corn rows here and walk down, which I, I will do that anyway because deer could be bedded on this edge over here, uh, you know, watching me come in. Um, but I'm going to hop down on the other side of that tree line. Um, it's probably 50 yards wide and then make my way um, down to a little opening that they've been crossing. Uh, I see them cross a lot. And uh, the wind is right in my face right now coming out of the southwest, which is pretty good uh, for, for tonight. I suspect the deer are bedding uh, on that side of the, of the wood lot um, and then making their way this way at night to go out into the uh, the crop fields, but they also could be bedding, you know, in this corn and stuff and come that way. So just gonna have to see. Hop in the corn here and get get down to my spot. I'm all 
set up now. So, I got a lot of good shots. Essentially, I'm right here, sitting on this finger. And I got shots down this way. And then shots all through here. Um, there's a really good rub on a tree right over here. So, actually, it's right on that tree right there. So hopefully that buck comes in here tonight and I sling a stick at it. I did trim a couple limbs up since I'm on private here, so everything looks pretty good. Something else that's nice about this spot is I can see a lot of this cornfield around me here. And so I'll be able to observe deer coming out into this crop field and then make a move on them tomorrow night if a big buck's coming in this field, you know, from up in the hills or something. Uh, that's a really good thing. There's like 50 bees flying around in this tree, so I'm like paranoid looking around for a nest or something, but I think they just like, I think they just like whatever kind of tree this is. There's a shooter coming in. I got about 10 minutes of daylight left until legal's over. He's making his way in here. This, look at this one. That was a nice one. I want to call Dan real quick. I think the show may be canceled tonight. All right, let's get down. Dan didn't answer. Let's get down and look for the arrow and stuff and see what we got going on. Just got uh, my stuff all packed up. I'm just gonna look at the shot right here and see what it looks like. Oh, look at this, guys. That is a good sign. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, Christmas has been canceled. Can you believe that? I was sitting right there in that tree right there. He was probably six yards from me. Um, I'm going to just uh, look at this a little bit better here. So I obviously got a lot of penetration. 
and I'm seeing bubbles in this blood. Look at all the bubbles in that thing. It's kind of weird. I thought I, I thought I had seen him right here. I may have been talking to you guys or something. All right, keep following blood. Yes. Look at that deer. Oh. Got him. Oh. That's my biggest with a longbow by a long way. So. Yes. He didn't go 50 yards from my stand. Oh, just a big old body brute. He's not a... He's not going to score a whole bunch, but man, let's look at the shot real quick. Yeah. I got a shot right there down through him. Absolutely perfect. Oh, yeah. Yes! Now, we go to Wisconsin and shoot another big one. So uh, I'm gonna get everything kind of cleaned up here and we'll we'll talk about him a little bit. Well, um, I think to enjoy this one a little bit more, I'm gonna go get my little boy, my wife, and bring them down here and we're gonna help, they're gonna help me get him out as a family. So it'll be my first time doing this as a family. And I think my little boy's super excited. So I'm gonna head back to the car and, and grab him and my wife and we'll get him out as a family. You ready to go see my buck, buddy? Yeah. You think it's a big one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. Mom. Hey, can I have nux? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, we're going to go get him, okay? I'm taking him back home. You take him back home, yeah. Before the what are we going to do with him, buddy? Cook him. So him. <laughs> what now? Cook After we him. get him home, what are we going to do? So him. Yeah, saw him. We gonna eat him? Yep. Hang him in our living room, maybe. Hop out. That's you. Let me hold him. <laughs> hold you. you. I stink. You're there. I don't know. Let's go find him. He's look. Keep looking. Maybe. To the left. You see him anywhere? Not yet. <laughs> Where do you see him? Go get him, buddy. Check him out. It's big. Is it a big one? Yeah. Huh? It's like a rhino. It's like a rhino, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think he's pretty cool? How many points does he have? Can you count them for me? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. How many do you have? Bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of them. You stand right here. We're going to talk to the camera for a minute. Tell people how I shot him. I sh Daddy shot him. Yeah. So this piece of property that I shot this deer on, um, really it's a piece that like, it wouldn't be sought after in like the deer hunting world. Um, it's an open field and has, what buddy? Where you shoot that? Right over there. On that tree, that tree over there. It's so by, it's it's just a it's it's, by a camera. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's a uh, <laughs> um, this piece of property. It's just a it's just an open cornfield, and there's one little tree line in the middle of it. And you wouldn't think, um, you know, there's not a big woods out here. There's not you know a big CRP field or anything like that. And these deer just pile into this little bitty finger that's in the middle of this property. Yep. Right, guys. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the stuff you look for in farm country is these little off the beaten path not in some great big woods yep, yep. Right. tree lines right 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 gary that's right gary that's how you kill one. Oh, anyway Where's so Gary's bow? i think i'm gonna have my hands full one of these days <laughs> so uh anyways yeah that's what i targeted and this particular deer was 
uh, this little tree line that was out in the middle of this uh, cornfield. It's just a little low area that the farmer can't plant and some trees have grown up. And the deer always seem to come to this tree line no matter, um, you know, wh wherever they're passing through, they're going to hit in this, this tree line. So that's what this guy was doing tonight. My biggest with a longbow, uh, for sure. All right. You ready to get him in the car? Get him home? Hang yeah. him up? Yeah. You got it, bud. Good job, Huck. Wow, look at those muscles. There we go. Thank you. Boy, I got a long drag out tonight. Oh, made it back. Made it back to the vehicle, Huck. Now, can you hold him right there? Yeah. Okay. If you like the Hunting Beast content, you'll want to head over to our Before the Echo channel to get detailed weekly updates on how our season's going, as well as other great content from great deer hunters around the country. Just hit this button to subscribe.